There are times when you want, in human interaction, someone to believe you, particularly when you're telling the truth, and you look into their eyes and you are trying to make a connection. It may be, I cannot make a deal that says this. I just can't. It will not work. I'm not now negotiating with you. I'm telling you this is a hard point. Right? Or I need this from you. I can't make a deal if I don't get this from you. Now, there, so negotiators uh, must have discount factors. They apply to other people. But you also are looking at the person as a human being. You're trying to understand how honest they're being with you at various times. And so if that relationship improves, and it did from the very rough <laughs> first day, we did better. I, one of the nicest things that Kang Sik Ju said to me over a year and a half negotiating was, through, again, through his interpreter, obviously, is, I appreciate your sense of humor, which, which is, you may not think is an, an awesome uh, compliment or uh, interpersonal connection, but it was different than a normal exchanges we have. I don't know whether you consider this example of humor. It struck me as close to hilarious, uh, but it was one of those circumstances where I couldn't laugh. Um, one of the things I told him by looking into his eyes saying I absolutely need in this agreement is um, I need um, a phrase that commits you to a north-south dialogue. I can't take this back uh, I, and you, must, you understand I take this back not only to Washington but to Seoul if I don't have you committed to north-south dialogue. It's essential. And Kong Suk Ju looked at me and I could see he got red and angry and he, so I thought this was sincere on his part. He yelled at me and pounded the table saying in Korean saying something and then the translator who was diminutive in stature, also uh, pounded the table, and emulating him as he translated this into English. And the words were to the effect that you will never, ever say North-South dialogue again. I'm tired of hearing this phrase. We're not having that in the agreement. I don't want you ever, ever, ever to say that phrase again. And he said it very sternly, very hard. Um, and I for some reason, the image of him saying it and then it being repeated with the pounding of the table struck me as funny, but I knew this was not a time for humor. So I said um, to my interpreter, so, okay, I want you to translate this exactly. My interpreter was Jay Kim, uh, came from the department, and I said, uh, Vice Prime Minister, uh, the phrase North-South Dialogue is actually extremely important to us. North-South Dialogue is a phrase that we embrace and indicates that the South Koreans are in fact with us in this negotiation. So the phrase North-South Dialogue, which you never want to hear again, you, so I'm doing this and the J is saying, I can't say that, and I'm saying, you will say this. So he repeats everything. North-South Dialogue was in my little oration about 20 times after being told never to say it again. And uh, after my interpreter finishes, uh, Kang Sik Ju slams his briefing book closed and looks around, and everybody, you know, the other 12 people close their briefing books. And, uh, and so I know, and he's staring, and I could see he's trying to figure out what to do. And I noticed that some people on my side are closing their briefing books, and I say, leave your briefing books open. And I uncorked a bottle of soda, poured a bottle of soda and waited. And then he stood up. And then they all stood up on that side. And this was my exquisite moment for not laughing. He was going to walk out. The problem with walking out at that moment is that we were in his mission. He couldn't walk out. It was clear. He looked up. He looked around. We were in a North Korean mission. So he sat down again. And then... <laughs> A lot of size, he opened his briefing book, and they opened it, and we went on. Now, that to me was funny. Uh, it may not be funny to you or to anyone else, but it was funny to me. And, I, and But I, uh, trust me, I wasn't laughing. I didn't smile. But th th there are moments like that that are, to me, precious, absolutely precious.